Welcome back. Lucas and Amy live and breathe for bargains and can spot one better than anybody else by storage hunting. Here's how they do it. I believe there's a treasure in every box. If you don't look, you don't find. How much did we pay for this unit? This one was $250. One dollars there, one sixty-five. dollars where? They're the ultimate bargain hunters taking a gamble on the treasures inside the box. 80% of our furniture is all from storage units. I think it's now hard to find something in the house that isn't from a storage unit. Australians love, love a bargain. Australians love a punt. And uh, everyone likes the excitement of an auction. Across Australia, there are hundreds of thousands of storage units. But when people don't pay their bills and can't be contacted, they get auctioned off. And it can be a gold mine for those bidding. I have become addicted to looking at storage units. It's, it is very addictive. You, you just want to find that treasure. It's, it's good fun. Lucas and Amy Doughty Carvel are treasure hunters, scouring storage units for forgotten gems. You know, when they first opened the door, it's like, you're so excited. So it was brilliant. So, you know, that's what got us sort of addicted, was that feeling there. Over the past two years, they've bought 89 units auctioned off online. The most they've ever paid is $400. The cheapest, just $80. But some of their finds are worth lots more. The couch. Yeah, this actually had a price tag on it and that was three and a half thousand. So we were really pleased with that. Lucas spends his day trawling online through auction house I bid on storage for their next buy. And for every good find, there's hundreds of weird and wacky items too. Many things, a Viking helmet. Yes. Um, we've had lots of weird, wonderful statues, breast implant, yeah. um, Commonwealth battens, too many adult toys. So this room here is probably about 80 to 90% full of stuff from units. Their home is adorned with their finds. The children's beds, the washing machine, even the treadmill all came from storage units. That's the problem. So one in, one out now. So if I like something, I kind of have to give something else up because there's just no room. Or one of the kids moves out, one of the two. I don't know yet. <laughs> there is really no bounds to, to what could be found in these units. Unlike the popular reality TV series... This trunk alone will bring 1500 bucks. Everything is now done online. Brennan McLaughlin is a founding partner of iBid on Storage. The auction house lists units from all major companies right around Australia. Well, thousands of units are auctioned off each year. We host anywhere between 350 to 500 auctions a month. Units can start from as little as $1 and go into the thousands for those that contain cars, boats and even safes. Photos and an inventory list are attached to each one to give bidders an idea of what's inside. Do your homework, uh, look at the photos, look at the inventory. Once sold, the buyer must clean out the entire unit within 72 hours. Units that are packed very well. Um, they, they attract a lot of attention, um, well-packed boxes stacked high to the roof. Um, obviously, if someone's taken the time and care to pack their belongings uh, nice and neatly, chances are there's a fair bit of value attached to those, to those goods. Lucas and Amy say they're yet to regret a single buy. Their theory, people don't usually pay to store junk. They on sell the extra furniture and washing machines they don't want for cheap online to get enough cash for their next buy. Luke being an electrician, he tests them, he cleans them and then if they're nice and they're up for sale then we, we sell them but we sell them cheaply because the way we think about it, if someone's buying one second hand it's because they don't have a lot of money. So I don't know if I'm a hoarder, I might be a little bit of one but I'm trying to be an organised hoarder. <laughs>